Hello. Let me explain to you why I'm making this video. I used to have a DSL modem and it was connected to my home network and everything worked perfectly. But then that modem died and I was forced to move to the new AT&T Uverse service with the new modem. And the new modem that came has the DHCP service that cannot be disabled. And that service clashes with my home router's DHCP service. So this video will explain how to disable the DHCP service from AT&T and allow my home router to take control of my home network. So let's get on with it. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to your Uverse router, look on the back and you find at the top the IP number that will allow you to access the administrative page of your AT&T Uverse router. And also, um, if you are connecting to your router using a wireless connection, like for example, with your laptop, then you also need the password for your administrative account, but only if you are connecting to your Uverse router wirelessly. Because if you're connected via network cable, then uh, the administrative page can be accessed without any password. Now, with uh, that IP number at hand, you can open a browser, type that number, and press enter. And that will take you to the administrative page. In my case, since I'm connected to my AT&T Uverse modem via network cable, I am not prompted for a password. Now, before making any configuration change on your AT&T Uverse router and on your home router, you should make a backup of all the information that is currently there. Because if your changes don't work, you can always go back to the previous state. So now you have been warned. Now click on settings and now go to LAN and click on DHCP on the sub tab. And now you select the option configure manually. And here you're gonna type the IP address of your AT&T Uverse router. Now you type the subnet mask, which is the number you can see here. And you are going to restrict the range of IPs that are used by your DHCP server to a single IP address that will be the address of your home router. So you put the first and last IP address of the range as the same number. So your AT&T Uverse DHCP server will only use one IP address, the IP of your home router. Now you go down and click on the save button. Now it's time to click on the firewall. You need to go to Applications, Pinholes, and DMZ. Here you will type the IP address that you will give to your home router and click on Choose. Now go to the bottom and Save. And finally, we go back to the LAN tab and click on the Wi-Fi sub tab. Here we are going to disable the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and also the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi that your AT&T Uverse works with. Now you click on save and that's it. Now after configuring your AT&T Uverse modem router, you will need to unplug it. Remove the power cable from the back of your Uverse modem and uh, now go to configure your home router. I have an ASUS router and I updated its firmware to version 9, which is the latest. And the IP address of my home router is 192.168.2.1. So that's the number that we are going to need to use on the browser. You go here, type that number. Now I will need to use my username and password to log in to my administrative interface on my home router. 
the first thing that we will need to do is to go to the WAN tab and we are going to transform it from automatic IP to static IP. And here we are going to use the IP address that we configured on the AT&T Uverse router for our home router, which is 192.168.11. And some mask is the same. And default gateway, we're going to use the AT&T Uverse IP number. Here again, the, for the first DNS server. Now we click on the apply button. Now let's go to the LAN option. Here I already configured my ASUS RTN16 home router to use the IP address 192.168.21. And pay attention to the third number of this sequence. I use two. You can actually use any other number except the number one because this number is being used by the AT&T Uverse router. So use any other number. I use two, but you can use from two up to 255. And that's it. You click on apply and you save the whole thing and your uh, network should be working fine after that. Okay then, so now good luck with your router change and I hope that your Uverse router configuration works well. Good luck.